Hello guys, I'm Alex from Tech Talk Talk. Today I'm going to be doing a second review on the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. The reason I'm doing this second review is because of the first review. I didn't um really know much about the device then. I just got the um the new device and I just and wanted to give you my initial thoughts. So this one it will be a more in-depth review of this very nice device. Okay, so first of all I wanted to talk about the um, outer shell, what it looks like, what the quality is, and all of that. So it's got a matte type of textured screen, which is nice because it feels a bit like paper. I don't know if you can see because it doesn't shine as much as a normal screen would. Okay, just got it to focus. Okay, now let's bring it back out. Let it focus again. <laughs> and um, it's got this, it's not a cheap plastic. It is plastic, but um, not cheap at all. You can just feel by the texture of it. And we've got our little Kindle, silver Kindle branding there, which um, it's nothing special. It's alright. And um got our let's just get this to focus on here. We've got our this will focus. Might be nice. Let's give it let's try again. There we go. So we've got our charging port, our little LED in the middle here, and our power switch. This is a micro USB or nano USB port and um just a little click button so nothing special there either here we've got our kindle writing which is actually engraved into the back and um just our amazon branding down here and yeah so um secondly i want to just turn this on focus the camera and um here are the books I've got at the moment. And I want to tell you about the touch because in the last um, Kindle, the Kindle Touch, uh, it wasn't that great. It was uh, infrared, whereas this is your usual one that you get in your iPhones or your Samsung Galaxies or any of that. So I might go into the Kindle store now and show you the keyboard because that's probably the easiest way to show off the touch on this. So, um... Let me just type in, let's go Game of Thrones, see how it got that. Okay, so it missed the E, but um, I wasn't going easy on it, nonetheless. And it pretty much got it all, I think, I think that was my fault, but anyway. Okay, now let's move on to the lighting. So, our lighting's right down at the moment. You can't see it too well now. If I... Maybe switch off these lights, may not make a huge difference, but let's just give it a go. There we go, you can see the lights, if I put it on an angle, you can see those four LEDs shining up. One, two, three, four. If I can reach them, and um, actually on the lowest setting, it doesn't turn the lights right off. I don't know, you probably can't see it at the moment. I can't even see it without the camera. But um, when you do turn it off, it does turn the lights right off. And um, yeah, this is another thing I'd like to talk about, is the art when it's off. The art is actually really nice. I really like it, actually. It's a lot better than just a blank screen, which you get if you hold the power button down. No, nope. uh, let's try again. There we go. So there's just our plain white screen. Makes the Kindle actually look a lot bigger because it's not so cramped with space. But let's turn it on. You can see our green LED goes on then. And yeah. So the battery life. It's another thing I like to talk about. That lasts, um, they say eight weeks if you read half an hour a day. I read it a lot more than half an hour and it lasts me maybe a week, which is really good. It's um, better than any other device I've ever used, and um, 
So I'm really happy with that. That's nothing I can complain about. And now um, let's move on to the 3G. So I've got the 3G model here. So um, I'll just go into settings. And um, I'll turn off my Wi-Fi. Actually, let's not worry about that. Um, actually, um, yeah, just one thing to know about the 3G is that it only works for the Kindle store. Sorry, that light there in the background. Um, so it only works in the Kindle store. You cannot go on the um, browser with it, unfortunately. But um, other than that, it's really great. So um, it runs pretty smoothly, the 3G, just like the internet. So yeah, nothing I can complain about there. So now let's look at the quality of this screen. I honestly never really see a pixel. I don't really look, but you can see focusing as close as I can here. Try and get this. No, we can't focus that close. No. Come on. Okay, so there we've been able to focus. And you still can't see a pixel, and we are really close up on the screen, so that is really good. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I, I'd say it's a retina display, but I don't know. And also um, on the writing, you can see. It's a two-handed greatsword, so let's focus on that. There we go. So the text is really clear, really sharp. Oh, sorry, just nudged my camera then. And, um, sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so now let's, um, go into the different fonts and sizes and all of the, that little stuff. So we can go, um, just uh, tap the top and then go... A you can make the font huge, really big. You can make it small. I like it on the smallest because it's pretty much the average book size, I reckon. Then we get Helvetica, Futara, and um, all these other ones. I like. I've just kept it on Palantino because that's the font George R. R. Martin has um, used when he published it. So we've also got line spacing see that big line spacing or nothing at all and margins don't get the point of these but <laughs> maybe it's for speed readers I think so yeah okay now let's look into x-ray which is one of the new features of the Kindle Paperwhite which is right here so what's here is um it says all the characters that are mentioned on this specific page so if we um click on one of them It'll tell us. Sir Roderick, master at arms of Winterfell, a great stout keg of a man with magnificent white cheek whiskers. So, um, yep, that tells us about that. And we can look all the characters mentioned in the chapter 22 and all in the book. And, of course, George R. R. Martin has many characters, 227 to be exact. And then we've also got terms and people and all. So, um, that's really nice. And, um, there we go. And I think I've, um, showed, showed you everything there is. Can also hold there, and then we can highlight stuff. And that's really nice and fast. We can just go there. And can go like that, and add note, highlight. And if we select a specific word, I don't know. Uh, how do we select a specific word? Just can't get thought. There we go. So we get thought, and it says the definition there. We can go full definition, and yeah, um, it's quite cheap. It's one hundred and nineteen dollars, which is um a really great price. I really liked it, and um yeah, I'm really happy with it. Definitely recommend it if you're looking to buy a Kindle. This is um nicest model because it's got really good touch screen if you're sleeping in bed and you decide you wake up and you can't fall back asleep 
and you don't want to turn on the light or something. It's got that built-in light, which is really quick and easy and really adjustable. So, because um, as we can see, we've got um, all these different options. It goes up to 24 different light dimness or brightness. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. See you.